Yo, so we just woke up. We are drinking our keto. So we're getting all keto fine. And then we got our glucometer. So we're gonna bust out some pens. And get stabbed with the glucometer first thing in the morning. It'll tell me where I'm at. So I can plan the rest of the day out on how much carbs I can have. You just diabetic style. Way high. 101 today. I was down in 60 yesterday. Had some chocolate and peanut butter last night. Uh, <laughs> jumped up 40 points. <laughs> so, cool. We know we're at 100. We'll go do something today. We won't eat any carbs all day long. And uh, we'll be rocking and rolling from there. Good morning. <laughs> we just start off our day with a bloody finger. <laughs> Keto, baby. <laughs> so the whole goal of using this thing is just to check to see how much glucose we have in our blood to see how keto adapted we can get. Uh, the lower our glucose and insulin, the more fat that we can burn off our body. Uh, so I want to explain to some people what I know they're doing because I'm doing it too. Is we're doing we're using this for. A dual fuel so we get both ketones from the supplement and then we're eating in carbohydrate intake as well which that ain't gonna help us lose fat we have to get our blood sugars levels down between the 50s between 50 and 76 and our ketone levels between 1.8 and 6 this is how we're gonna burn fat we have to have low insulin that's how it works this is what some people are doing if you were to look at the Ketone intake and the glycogen intake. Right here we have high glucose equals high insulin. High insulin is no growth hormone. So that's another thing that we're missing out on, uh, having all that insulin spike. Uh, we're in dual fuel mode. We're not losing fat. Or we're using body fat to burn that energy because the main, our main goal is to use this for energy. Lower our glycogen. We just got to keep our levels low on our sugar. Stop eating so much sugar. And eat more fat. Come on, people. Uh, <clears throat> let's see what else we got. We do this first thing in the morning on a fasted stomach, so it gives us the reading that we want, and then we can add nutrients in through the day and just kind of guesstimate and go from there. Uh, but we still want our glycogen levels low. Keep them low. 50 to 76. 50 to 76 on this thing. And then if you have a dual, one that measures uh, ketones also, you can do... You want your ketones levels to be 0.5 to 6, anywhere between there. Low glycogen, high ketones, high energy, low insulin, let go all your body fat, burn fat, magic. Ah.